What's up, YouTube? So, I posted a short the other day where I went, yeah, 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 with my yellow sunglasses, the Bono glasses. Look. Seriously, though, tell me I'm wrong. Um, anyways, so those are to help brighten things up. Uh, and then I also had a black light in there. Let me go get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, this little black light flashlight. And what I didn't show is that I put UV dye into the oil of the engine to find a leak. So context with the story is I bought this truck. Uh, I park it. I, dr I drove it. I did a little work on it. And finally, then I parked it. And then the next day, there was a puddle of oil on it. And I laid underneath. And I was angry because I thought it needed a rear main seal or the oil pan was leaking. And if you've done an oil pan on a 7.3... I don't have to tell you more. Nightmare engines got to come out to do it properly. And you use like a plate compactor sealant, glue this thing together. I've done four, five in my lifetime. Uh, a few on OBS Fords and a few on that O2, O1 body style. What do they call those? I don't know. The F-150 they call jelly beans, which is funny in those years. Anyway, so you put dye in the oil, you put these on. And then you use this black light and the dye will find the leak. So I was really relieved that uh, on the 7.3, you've got that. They call it the valley of death. Some people call it the valley of death. Well, rightfully so. You drop something down there. It's bare to get out of there. Maybe a magnet. Uh, plus you've got like the covers, the fuel filter bowl. You've got the H-pop and the fuel pump on the OBS is down in there. So uh, yeah. Yeah. I was relieved. I went in with the light and just found that probably the O-ring on my high pressure oil pump, uh, oil fitting that's leaking. So my head was telling me I needed to take the engine out and take the oil pan off just to do the rear main seal. But truth is it's probably like an 84 cent O-ring. So the dye, it's like $8 a bottle, something like that on Amazon. The light, uh, all of a sudden done 35 bucks to find out. I don't need to pull the engine and I just need a little O-ring. Awesome way of identifying and finding leaks. You know, and this works in all sorts of stuff. I put it in other cars. When I worked in a small engine shop, we'd always want to find where the oil leak would come from, like before taking a flywheel off to check a crankshaft seal. Um, because on like lawn mowers and zero turns, all that stuff, the oil would drip, hit a belt, and then the oil would just be sprayed everywhere. And you'd be like, yep, yeah, I'm not going to find this easy, am I? So... Uh, a lot of time in Kawasaki's, it's like governor seals or the upper seal or the crankcase breather and stuff like that. But with stuff like that, you put the dye in and then you're able to locate and pinpoint much more quickly. So, um, yeah, let me take you over to the truck, show you what I did. All right. Man, what a beautiful day. It is Sunday, bloody Sunday, and we are here in my carport where the streets have no name. Uh, this is the truck. So the other day I was driving it and then I got it home the next morning. I came out and found this. That's uh, where I started to get a little perturbed and freaking out because if you look closely, that you can see like the oil on the bell housing and this clutch cover and the oil pan here and i started going like thinking the worst doom and gloom what am i gonna need an oil pan rear main seal and everything and then i said i'm i was tired exhausted i went inside i'm like i need a fucking break effing break yeah so then the next morning i ordered uh the dye so let's see the dye i ordered was this Auto Pro? You can find that on Amazon. Uh, they make it for engine oil, transmission. There's other different ones for coolant, uh, just so you can find that. And then what else? We're gonna need a little light here. So, cool. I'm gonna pop the hood now for you. Give me a second. So, what you do with that oil is you put it in your crankcase. So, in my case, I put it in a valve cover here uh, where you put it in on your vehicle. It will be different, but uh, you put it in and then 
it's not uh, you you still won't find what you're looking for until you run and drive it because uh, she moves in mysterious ways so put it in run it and drive it <laughs> getting a little carried away with the u2 stuff um so i ran it i drove it and uh here's what i found so for me i was freaking out thinking it was gonna be all that stuff with the oil pan or the rear main seal but in reality you get your black light here right and then i'm gonna look you can see the fitting there look at that so there's a uv dye ran through the oil system came out from that high pressure oil pump dripped down into the valley and you can still kind of verify in the valley too how uh, it leaked there. So then in the back of these, there's a hole in the back of the um, block casting. So it dripped out and went down the back of the engine to that spot. And that's it. That's really all there is to it. So I will take care of this leak with or without you. In all seriousness though, uh, die super helpful tool. You've got pedestal O-rings up there, high pressure oil line uh, O-rings up there. You've got on the OBS, the fuel pump uh, that can leak the high pressure oil pumps, got seals and O-rings in it. Uh, the valley, the shoot, the valve cover harness gaskets. Um, so many places for oil to leak, you know, and to just go and throw parts at it, why? You know, so with this one, uh, I was frustrated, thought it was originally gonna be the oil pan or rim main sealed. I went and did the UV dye, like I knew, I just forgot about using that trick. And now I pinpoint it down to just this O-ring that's putting out oil. I live on a hill, when I drive up the hill, oil goes to the back of the engine. That's how it was dripping down the back of the engine. Now I know it's just an O-ring. But what I wanna know from you, does any of you have the braided stainless crossover tubes, um, for the high pressure oil system on an OBS. I've done it on my 01, 02 trucks. I loved it. Haven't tried it on an OBS yet. Uh, do you think I should do that? Should I just do an O-ring and fix it? Or should I update it, upgrade it? Let me know what you think. Um, please, if you haven't already, <laughs> like and subscribe. I'm still thinking of other YouTube references to say in here. How many did you count? Um, maybe I'll fix this thing, uh, when all is quiet on New Year's Day. But, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, share the video. Let me know other content I can do with the 7.3. Leave a message, comment, other things you might be struggling with, trying to figure out with your truck. Um, appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll be putting out more content soon. Thank you. I'm out. Roger Dodger.